I coach my son's soccer team. I volunteer at a soup kitchen. I certify forklifters. I try to go to church every Sunday. Prison is what I went through. Prison is something I went through. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. I spent some time in prison, and when I was released, I was given the opportunity to work, support my family, and make contributions to my community. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. Each year, 700,000 people leave prison, and millions more leave local jails. If they can get a job, they contribute to the economy. Successful reentry means public safety. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. Forty-seven million Americans have a criminal record, and 95% of the people that we incarcerate are released annually back into our communities. However, collateral consequences and the stigma of that record are lifelong. Prison is something I went through. It's not who I am. Returning citizen is a nice way of saying ex-offender. But how can I truly be a returning citizen if I can't get a job, housing, or provide for my family because of my record? Prison is what I went through, not who I am. What would you do if you were denied housing, employment, or military service? Millions of Americans are denied these rights and more because they have a criminal record. Like you and me, they just want to support their families and live a normal life. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. Forty-seven million Americans have a criminal record. Many due to harsh sentencing laws from the war on drugs. But guess what? Most of us are no different than you. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. As a 34-year law enforcement veteran, I've come to believe that the war on drugs is really a war on people. And to make matters worse, after doing their time, they don't have the same rights as you and me. Prison is what I went through, not who I am. Thousands of Americans, disproportionately folks of color, are denied access to housing, jobs, and other important services because they have a criminal record. How can we expect these folks to provide for their families when they don't have the opportunity to do so? Prison is what I went through, not who I am. There are five times more people in prison today than in 1980. That's 2.3 million people. No one incarcerates in the world like the U.S. Is ours a just society? Prison is what we went through, not who we are. You rarely hear about the impact incarceration has on families. And they still have to deal with the stigma and shame when we come home but we are resilient. Prison is what we went through, not who we are.